Hi there, this is Dr. Samurai, a uh, professor in Japan specializing in international social pathology. And today's topic of my minute lecture is Mr. Chester Turner. I am not sure whether uh, this name is known to you or not, but uh, he was also called the South Side Killer of Los Angeles. South Central of Los Angeles is famous, right? For, yes, for uh, gangs, right? Crips and bloods, like black gangs. And uh, Mr. Chester said he was a member of Crips, but I am not sure if he was a full member of a Crips gang or not. Full member means whether he went through that entrance procedure of jump in, in which he was beaten by his members for a certain period of time. The, it must have been true that uh, he had a certain connection to uh, Crips because the, he used to uh, sell crack you know, crack cocaine on the street or on the street corner in that South Central, which is the turf of Crips. You see his face and uh, you can clearly tell because his skin, you know, he, he's he got a, his hair shaved. So he got this large scars sliced from here to here. When he was selling uh, crack cocaine in the street, he was uh, jumped by other uh, uh, drug addicts who would do anything, you know. So they tried to jump on him to uh, steal his drug, I think. While doing a little bit of those crack sale, he killed 15 prostitutes, including the one being pregnant. And he is now at the death row of San Quentin. When uh, Chester was five years old, his parents got divorced. He followed his mother. But uh, in a way, aggressive mother told him when she went out to work that he must stay close to his house. He could not eat freely and he always had to, uh, you know, uh, obey the rules given by his mother about eating foods. Even that uh, divorced biological father, he uh, got remarried right away with uh, his stepmother. And his stepmother was uh, abusive physically and she hit Chester all the time. She never allowed Chester to uh, beat his brothers and sisters-in-law. I mean, his biological father got married with the new uh, woman, right? And they have their own children. After Chester, she loved those of her own much better than Chester. So, even if Chester visited his father, especially the stepmother discriminated him from other children of her own. After years of uh, being raised under such repressive environment by his mother and by his father and by his stepmother, he gradually lost control of himself, uh, was known for molestation at school for, you know, uh, younger students. Remember, his father was very strict too. It must have been tough to him though. Father strict, mother controlling, I mean domineering, and uh, stepmother this Criminatory, and he always have to uh, trace down under such pressures, and uh, it uh, started to to uh, 
break out as he grows older in school and uh, he dropped out of high school at uh, age 17 and uh, started uh, pizza delivery right and at the same time reached uh, drugs and alcohol so his biological mother he lived with forced him out of her house he had to uh, live on the street literally and he was shot when deal dealing with the uh, crack cocaine and he used to tell me he still has pieces of uh, bullets in his uh, back thigh and uh, you know it kind of scattered a little bit and he still carries it within uh, his body so he still has to uh, continuously see doctors once in a while to check on those pieces around the age 20 he started to uh, murder prostitutes and women he killed the first one then seven months after the second one and he killed uh, six in nine years and the uh, interesting thing is all those murders of prostitutes he did within four blocks of his own house walking distance you know he also killed the uh, homeless and uh, drug addicts in addition to uh, prostitute this kind of thing he never told me but he i think one time showed up at the funeral as one of the guests for his victim and sit among those guests to her funeral I am not sure why he did it, but uh, could have been to uh, cover he did it because it was within his neighborhood. And uh, the thing was, although Chester Turner had his common law wife and kids with her, that common law wife was also aggressive personalities and his life was always filled with uh, troubles and he was always stressed out with their you know uh, cohabitation life this is what uh, Chester actually told me but uh, whenever he uh, had the quarrel and the uh, woman is stronger than man like Chester who was you know uh, abused when little kid he he couldn't you know uh, verbally you know uh, fight back against the woman and uh, he was the one who went out whenever he got you know uh, passed out of uh, quarrels with his common law wife so that's the time he killed those prostitutes and the homeless and drug addicts and the, that is why his murders were all within the four blocks of his own house to release this anger comes from the fights with the, his own woman that's what he told me in person at the age of 37 one woman barry could run away from rape by chester and the DNA she provided matched the DNA found from 10 other dead bodies. For this, he received a death sentence. And after he got arrested and incarcerated, he got another death sentence. So he is now serving for two death sentences at death row in uh, San Quentin so uh, that is why he is called the South Side Killer but uh, Chester Turner that I know is a little bit different from those facts I mean he didn't tell me all those details that is understandable because it's a kind of uncomfortable thing to show his weakness to others and we were like friends already through our you know years of uh, 
class punishes. And when I saw him, you know, uh, no, no, even before I actually saw him in person, I knew he's got、uh, capon like scars, you know, scar face. That is pretty much why I wanted to contact him. You know, the reason I told you I was looking for somebody always who went to extreme. Okay?、Uh, the fact that I could visit him、uh, as a visitor means he liked me. You know, the system of visitation, we communicate, right? And the other side h a v e to send. This signed visitation request form to his correspondent, me. And I fill out all the information on that、uh, request form and send it back to prison administration. They check my backgrounds and、uh, everything is okay. It goes down to Chester. And then within the、uh, correspondences, I know I was approved by Chester. You understand it, right? So, first, incarcerated person himself h a v e to send the request form he himself signed already. You know, so the incarcerated don't want to see all the people whom they communicated because they cannot always trust everyone whom. They communicate because the most of them, you know, want to,、uh, you know, get something from them and sell, for example, his handwriting、uh, letters, handwritten letters, you know, on the internet and stuff. And、uh, people, there are people who would like to buy them and stuff. But anyway, so knowing that,、uh, you know, we are all the,、uh, we, we all the had friendship, but,、uh, He was also known to,、uh, you know,、uh, have times of being violent to、uh, police officers and、uh, correctional officers. So I was a bit, not nervous, but I was a bit、uh, on guard, you know. I am, you know,、uh, mentally prepared, you know, to anything that could happen, like. Those fights and stuff, you know, and、uh, I'm ready for it. You know, I'm not sure whether I can win or not, but I am ready for it mentally. Otherwise, I couldn't meet so many. And, but、uh, things like that never happened. But,、uh, you know, when we meet with the first person or a person in the first time, you know, we, had to, we have to carry ourselves in a certain manner. With their confidence, right? Whether it is he is incarcerated or not incarcerated, the first impression is very important. So I was thinking about those things at the time, I think. So I went to a San Quentin and uh, uh, go through processes. There's always long lines, long lines at San Quentin, and it takes time. Oh, And、uh, entered the area, right? And he is a、uh, death row inmate, s right? So we could see in one of those several cages anyway. And I think、uh, Chester was already、uh, in the cage waiting for me. And、uh, we, you know, the CEO,、uh, correctional officers, have to、uh, open the doors and close doors and、uh, Uh, every time he does it, you know, the CEO has to,、uh, you know, remove and put on the handcuffs. I knew it's a good idea to、uh, finish buying foods before I enter the cage, just to,、uh, you know, leave out all those, pro- you know,、uh, procedures and repeat it the same you know, again and again. I asked him, What do you want to eat? And、uh, he goes like cheeseburgers and、uh, Coca Cola and things like that. He was eating it deliciously because、uh, they, what they can normally eat is at shell meat, not the real meat. So he looks, looked very happy. After he 
finished like up 80 percent of it i decided to ask him uh, uh, why did you uh, do that you know he was the kind of person i could uh, easily ask such questions and he goes like you know since i was very little my mom was a very uh, you know strict dominating and i was uh, beaten by her on my ass by a belt electric cord you know and of course i get mad but uh, there was no way for me to release that anger and the same thing is happening with that woman i am in relation to you know that wife-in-law she is you know uh, easily get upset and uh, grumbling and angry so whenever i get mad i jumped out of the house all those murders were con you know consequences of those you know uh, anger coming from my home although i don't want to approve his murderous act and i never you know look down on those prostitute girls they could be good person and doing it for some reason but uh, i kind of understood the mechanism in which you know uh, uh, why he killed those women you know the psychology of women and psychology of men are totally different female keep you know uh, putting out bits of angers all the time continuously and uh, guys if they stay close to them all the time they are exposed to that anger right up to the certain level guys can stand such you know uh, uh, such manners but uh, once they stack up anger inside cross the line guide snaps and it is said that uh, frustrations caused by people must be released to people if you really want to get rid of it the thing is those under the pressure and the frustrations could never fight back against the person who gave him the frustration in the first place what i'm saying is guys cannot go back to mother or wife direct directly normally because uh, there's this image of them being stronger psychologically you know so it has to be released to uh, somebody lower psychologically but uh after those uh, basic information he told me something very interesting that is you know i didn't say i did not kill anybody i killed some but i didn't kill all of them that they put on me he told me that and i could tell he was telling me the truth you know the way he told me he said he did not kill all those women it is said that he killed himself and i uh, followed that and uh, what do you mean and he goes there's somebody else who keeps killing prostitutes put it on me the guy he was talking about the other guy who kept killing prostitute was ronnie franklin jr from the same south central neighborhood and he was active from 1985 to 2007 almost 20 years and out of those 20 years over 10 years he did not commit murders because of that he was nicknamed grim sleeper because of the period that he did not kill grim sleeper ronnie franklin jr but uh, this is a side information but in reality he did not have any sleeping period he kept killing constantly but uh, 
there was not enough evidence to、uh, connect those murders to Ronnie due to lack of evidence. So、uh, he was not、uh, actually a grim sleeper, you know. But it, it is true that he was active for 20 years continuously. And there was another serial killer who was not from the same South Central, but、uh, also、uh, from a large Los Angeles area. And his name is Michael Hughes. So during the same eras, there were three serial killers who were all black, active in Los Angeles. And out of those three, two were from the same neighborhood. Although, what he told me that、uh, he did not kill all of them was never cleared. On the contrary, another four murders were put on Chester later on. And for these new four murders, he received another death sentence. I think he was really, really addicted to killing women, although he was acting like a, you know, sort of,、uh, not the tough guy, but.、Uh, You know, a gang from South Central. Maybe, but he was good to me, though, you know, when we were together. And、uh, there's only one, one prison that has, you know, an executing chamber. That's San Quentin. San Quentin only has a chamber for execution. So. Three years after, when I visited him again, Chester told me, Oh, by the way, I saw the Grim Sleeper the other day in the same yard. Did you do something? Did you talk to the guy? And he said, No, because at that time, <clears throat> troubles kept happening to him. Two、uh, young guys in death row, I think,、uh, kind of,、uh, you know,、uh, Picked on Chester, but、uh, there's this unspoken rule for the incarcerated that、uh, if you don't fight back, you will keep being the target. So, win or lose doesn't matter. You must fight back in front of others, and you have to show you're the guy who's got the pride. And、uh, <clears throat> Even before that trouble with the two guys, he had another problem s with the you know, correctional officer. He was you know,、uh, kept, he just kept being punished for those troubles on him. You know, he himself, at least to me, was kind of a peace lover and w a n t to mind his own business. But、uh, now I kind of think the fact that he was. So weak to、uh, his mother and stepmother and his wife, common law wife, as he shows something that makes others feel like they could attack him, they could,、uh, you know,、uh, be aggressive on him. And that is why, although himself wants to focus on his own business, he is targeted by others. <laughs> I now start to think, you know. But、uh, it is、uh, pretty much possible because、uh, you live in such childhood, abused by father and mother and stepmother, you definitely develop interpersonal fear. So it must show once in a while. And some beasts in a death row don't miss it. But.、Uh, Lastly, I would like to let you know before ending this Mr. Chester Turner story. Several years after that grim sleeper was dropped in San Quentin, he died in his own cell due to a heart attack, and he was 67 years old. Don't know why he could have carried a weak heart by nature. Or that、uh, death row life was too stressful to him, but、uh, he was only in there on, 
only for five or six years. That's the end of the story. But the Chester, he is now like uh, 50, around 55 for sure. He is still healthy and keeps writing to me occasionally. That is the end of the story. I hope uh, I gave you some uh, hint on uh, how one type of uh, serial killer is produced and uh, get active. So up until next time, please have a wonderful time and bye bye now.